Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome, my name's Emily. And today I'm gonna to talk about cleaning your yoga mat. This is a question I get asked quite a lot as a yoga instructor, which is just what is the best way to clean a yoga mat without leaving it sticky or slippery and without ruining the material. So I'm gonna show you a really simple way that you can clean your yoga mat at home with just standard cleaning products that you will have around the home. If you have a specific type of a specific type of mat, something that's not like the normal yoga mat material, then you should definitely check with the manufacturer what they recommend in terms of cleaning it. So if it's something like cork or if it's a recycled material, then that might be slightly different. But the method I'm going to show you today will work for pretty much any any other kind of yoga mat with the standard kind of materials. Now, some of you might be watching this and thinking, oh, I've been using my yoga mat for ages and I've never cleaned it. Um, and you wouldn't be alone. It is one of those things that gets uh, forgotten about or neglected or people don't even really think about it. And with things like exercise mats or gym mats, you might give it a little wipe down, but you probably don't give it a thorough clean. Whereas with yoga mats, it's a bit more important because we're placing our hands, our bare feet, sometimes our foreheads and our faces onto these mats. So we really wanna make sure that they are as clean as possible. And the material that's used to make yoga mats is designed to absorb moisture so that when you're getting a bit sweaty on the yoga mat, the mat's gonna absorb that so that you don't slip and slide all over the place. So that means that it's also absorbing a lot of grime and oils and bacteria. So really important that we give them a good clean every now and again. If you go along to a yoga studio, they'll probably have sprays, disinfectant sprays that you can use each time you roll out your mat or whenever you've finished so that you can give it a good wipe down. That's a really good practice to get into. And I will also show you a way that you can use this same cleaning method and put it into a spray bottle so that you can spray your own mat down when you use it at home. But I do think it's also a good idea every now and again to give it a proper soak and really clean it well. So if you're doing this at home and if you have a bathtub in your house, that's a really good place to do this, to put the plug in, put your mat in, and then I'll show you how we're gonna clean it but uh, let it soak in the bathtub for a while, so or even overnight really, but I suppose an hour or so would do, just so that all of that grime and dirt can lift away from your mat. Now I'm gonna do this outside because it's a nice sunny day and uh, I don't wanna make a mess inside, but if it's not a sunny day when you're wanting to do this, I'd suggest laying down a couple of towels under your mat so you can really soak it and get it uh, nice and clean without making a mess of your floor. So I'm gonna head outside now and I will show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, I'm just heading out into my garden now and I just thought it is a bank holiday and there's a lot of people outside in the sun in the garden, in my neighbour's gardens. Little appearance from Penny there, curling up on the sofa. Um, so my point is, I apologise if there's a lot of background noise, but I'll try and make sure you can hear me. Okay, so what we're going to use is just a big bowl of warm water, uh, not boiling, just warm. And in here I have put a teeny tiny squeeze of washing up liquid, just dish, dish soap. Um, when I say a tiny squeeze, I mean a really tiny bit because we don't want to get it too soapy. That's just going to leave a bit of a, a residue on your mat. It's not going to come off and uh, it's going to be a bit slippery when you try and use it. I have also put in just a small amount of white vinegar. So that's going to work as a disinfectant and to really kill the, any bacteria, any nasty stuff on your mat. So in a sort of bucket this size or a bowl this size, I've just used probably about 10 ml of uh, white vinegar. If you're doing it in a spray bottle, it probably wants to be I don't know, about maybe an eighth of your total solution, no more than that. Uh, so just a little bit of white vinegar. Um, you don't want to use any kind of disinfectant that's going to be too harsh. So if you have any other kind of disinfectant that's just really mild, then that should do as well. And the last thing I've put in is a bit of essential oils. So if you've got tea tree oil, that's really good because that also has disinfectant properties. Um, I'm using eucalyptus and you want to put in a good sort of 10 drops. You want to really be able to smell it. It's going to make your mat smell lovely as well. Then I'm using just a really soft sponge. You don't want to use anything that's going to scratch your mat. So if you're using like a washing up sponge, just use the spongy side instead of the scratchy side. Right, then when it comes to cleaning your mat, you want to make sure you really scrub down the both sides because the underside of the mat, the side that sits on the ground, um, 
even if you don't think that you're touching that side, when you come to roll up your mat, you roll that side in and it then touches the top of your mat. So all of the dirt from underneath is then coming into contact with the top of the mat, the lovely side that you think is lovely and clean, that you put your hands in your face and your feet on. So a top tip for when you're rolling up your mat to avoid that is actually to fold your yoga mat in half so that that bottom half is away from the top half, if that makes any sense. Fold it in half and then roll it up from there. So next time you're rolling up your yoga mat after a class, that is a good way to do it. Um, here comes Penny to help. I don't think you need your help, Penny. When I first bought this bucket out, she got scared because she hates bath and I think she thought the sheet was getting cleaned. It's not your turn. It's the uh, yoga mats today. Right, and when it comes to cleaning it, you want to give it a really good soak and really pay attention to the areas where you put your hands and your feet on your yoga mat. Those are going to be the areas that will be the dirtiest. So here we go. Get this sponge nice and wet and just squeeze all over. And then give it a good old scrub. one side, flip it over and do the other. Um, the downside of doing this outside is it can get a bit grassy but once the mat dries off that should just brush off quite easily. Um, if you're doing this in a bathtub then you still want to really get in there and give it a good scrub but then you can just leave it to soak in there as I said an hour or so probably be enough but if you want you can just leave it there overnight, give it a bit of a rinse in the morning and then hang up your mat to dry somewhere. You really want to make sure that it dries thoroughly before you roll it up again because you don't want any damp to stay in there. Ta-da! And we're done. So leave your yoga mat to dry out if you have the joy of a sunny day like this. You can leave it to dry outside. Um, and get in the habit of cleaning your mat as often as you think it needs. I would say at least every 10 times that you use your mat. But an easy way of doing it is to get yourself a spray bottle, put that same kind of solution in, so mostly water, a little bit of dish soap, a little bit of a disinfectant if you have something mild uh, like white vinegar. If not, you can just go with tea tree oil and that is a good disinfectant as well, so a good 10 drops of that. And then every time you use your mat, you can give it a quick spray down, a quick wipe with a cloth or with a sponge, and uh, you're good to go. Now, if you only have one yoga mat, this is pretty quick to do. I, as a yoga teacher, have about another, how many? Uh, eight to go. Uh, so I'm going to carry on. But uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, share it with anyone who you think needs it, and uh, subscribe to this channel for new videos every week. See you soon.